Global collaboration and technology are key to safeguarding food security in Africa. As part of this effort, BGI Group hosted the 2025 seminar on perennial rice technology for African countries, equipping 30 African technicians with advanced agricultural skills to enhance sustainable farming and address food insecurity. When I heard that we are coming on perennial rice for African countries, I knew that this is a perfect opportunity because Africa, we have been uh, struggling with food uh, insecurity. So when I heard that there is perennial rice that has been developed by China, I thought that this is an opportunity for me to come so that I can also to transfer this technology back to my country to ensure that we are food secure. We attended this training because we have uh Perennial rice as wild rice, though it is not yet identified as whether it is perennial or not. Then if we could, if using this chance, we may have some information and the background and the connection with the Chinese people, uh, experts. And then we will get knowledge and the skill how to produce and use some technologies to do rice production back in Ethiopia. And uh, this training has enabled me to learn about perennial rice, learn about its production, learn about the science behind it. I think perennial rice is the way to go. Perennial rice is a world changer. It is going to actually to impact positively on food security. Once you plant the perennial rice, it, you are able to harvest it so many times. Uh, that means that the farmer is going to be able to reduce the cost of production and increase its, his output. And uh, also it's rice that uh, does not require a lot of water. So if there is rice that can utilize less water and give higher production, then that is what we, we can be able to go for. We got skills and how to multiply and keep on producing basic seeds and till commercialization, the way how to fill, fill the management aspect, disease control and pest control as well. The whole skill, the production, the agronomy part, we learned a lot. On the first day of the training, we distributed exam papers and discussion topics to the trainees so that they can learn with specific questions in mind. And each day, they will renew the discussion based on what they had learned. We believe this approach is more suited to the AI era because we focus more on the process of thinking, exploring, instead of the final results and answers. We didn't just focus on the knowledge, but also how to apply the knowledge in real-world scenarios. This will allow the participants to better understand how to use this technology in their own context. BGI is an institution that is doing so much. It's an institution that has really done uh, a lot, not only for China people, but for people globally. It is an institution that is taking care of food security, which is something that is pertinent to uh, human uh, survival. If we start uh, collaboration with the BGI, we can screen those our materials some, with some joint research projects. We can identify those wild type we have, and we can use the merits those wild type have, uh, and we can mutually benefit from the materials. So from th with this training, I can say it's mind-boggling. You have learned so much. I can say that I came an uh, empty bag, but I'm going back with a full bag of information, full bag of knowledge. We can further strengthen with, on some materials that we don't have, we can, because it is more advanced in the laboratory. We can start with crop improvement and we can work some molecular parts. So to BGI, I would say thank you so much for opening our eyes, for uh, giving us insights into uh, into some of the technologies that they are, they, are, they, are, they are having and even showing us how we can be able to apply those technologies back at home.